the temptation of Jesus was on purpose. <laughs> that temptation of Jesus was on purpose. What purpose? To prove that Jesus was a man. Because God cannot be tempted. God cannot be tempted. Since Jesus was a man and every man is tempted. How many people are tempted? Every man. So if Jesus was a man, he too must be tempted. Because God cannot be tempted. It was to prove his humanity. To establish the fact that he was a complete human with desires with desires and ability to make choices let me take you memory lane when he was in the garden of Gethsemane, didn't he pray what was his prayer i don't want the cup take the cup away father i don't want this cup i want this cup to pass i don't want to take it that's his desire his desire is he doesn't want the death but after insisting on his desire he submitted his desire he said not as i will now i submit your will be done to establish that he didn't die by force he died by choice it was voluntary death he looked at your face he thought of you and said i must die this death because if I don't die this death, they will have to die it. And they don't have the resources to die the death. But I have the resources. I have to die. He made up his mind on your behalf. The songwriter says, when he was on the cross, he had me on his mind. He was thinking of me. He was thinking of me. Glory to God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at Hebrews chapter 4 verse 14. Hebrews 4 14. Read for me. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. Next verse. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of an infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin. He was tempted in all points. Meaning that desire is a characteristic of humanity desire belongs to humanity anybody that is a man will have desires desires which god in his sovereignty cannot change as sovereign as god is if you say today you don't want to read your bible he cannot force you Okay, let me ask you a simple question, an intelligent question. What is the will of God? Eh? What is the will of God? For all men and to be saved and to come to prove that that was his desire. What did he do? He became a man and died to make that desire backed with action. Is that true? But has everybody accepted salvation? Why doesn't God in his sovereignty compel people to do that? Because man has choice. And God cannot override your choice no matter how sovereign he is. Meaning that God does not take responsibility for your decisions. Honey, remember the story Ken Hagen told of the brother that was addicted to cigarette. The brother smokes and he's been trying to stop smoking cigarette and he could not stop smoking cigarette. So he came to the church with a secret cigarette and his packet of cigarette to the pulpit. And he said, Father, I don't want to smoke it. I don't want to smoke it again. But if you don't want me to smoke it too, take this packet. Take the stick. If you don't take this stick and packet, it means you want me to smoke it. <laughs> take the packet. He kept standing. The packet was still in his hand. The stick was still in his hand. And in his mind, God wants me to continue. You know, that's how many people think God is. Father, if you want me to travel, let rain fall. Rain will just start falling. You travel and die. Ah! 
But he even prayed and God confirmed it with what? With rainfall. You don't know that Satan operates in the air, in the atmosphere, and he can make rainfall. God doesn't speak to us through these fleeces. He speaks to us in our hearts. Because Satan has no access to our hearts. Glory to God. I told you a story of the brother who said, Father, any sister that I meet in church today, today is Sunday. The first sister I will see in the service, that is my wife. True story. He came to church. This was in Joss. Sunday morning, very early, stood up, showered, dressed up. Came to church. As he was arriving the door of the church, there is this sister in the church that doesn't have legs. So she uses wood to carry herself. As he was arriving, that was the sister that was arriving. He said, I bind you, Satan. <laughs> Father, this one is not part of the plan. <laughs> is she not a sister? And you say the first sister, why are you binding? <laughs> say the blood of Jesus. No. He said, I didn't see her. I didn't see her. He went back. <laughs> God is not mocked. Some of you say, the moment I open the door, the first thing I meet outside is the will of God. So as you open the door, a rat is sitting down and doing like this. <laughs> The will of God is not seen in objects. The will of God is seen in a person. Jesus is the revelation of the will of God. To know the will of God, look at Christ. I'm teaching here tonight. The will of God is seen in a man. He's seen in a person. The person of the Christ. He's the revelation of the will of God.